Hey, I hope you are doing well. Today I have an interview with a person called Super Sorel and he has an, his own YouTube channel uh, where he does toy reviews. He also does Disney toy reviews. He's uh, a friend of mine. Uh, I learned him uh, via internet, via his channel and he's a big fan of our channel. So I thought it would be a good idea to um, let him talk about his, uh, his collection. So enjoy this interview with Super Sorel. Hey, I'm Super Sorrel. I'm a toy reviewer here on YouTube and I'm a massive fan of uh, DLRP fans. Every time me and my wife uh, consider going to Paris, we always look up the DLRP fans uh, YouTube page. So thank you very much for having me on the channel, guys. I appreciate it. So I officially started collect collecting and making YouTube videos back in 2016 when The Force Awakens and Star Wars sort of had its resurgence and the Disney store started getting all this awesome Star Wars merchandise and it kind of rekindled my sort of um, you know love for the franchise and especially because they were, they were releasing characters like Boba Fett again and things like that so I started picking up some of those action figures and started making videos uh, here on YouTube and it went from there and it's just blown yes. up. I am a massive Disney fan. I love going to the theme parks and um, we've been to Florida and Paris so far. We want to get out to California at some point and eventually Japan and Hong Kong at some point. But for now, uh, we've been to Orlando and Paris. Uh, Orlando will always be our home away from home. We love that. We love going to Orlando in general. Um, but Paris definitely holds a special place. We really enjoy going there uh, at least every year if we can. Um, and we can't wait to see what they do with the new Frozen stuff out there. That's going to be cool. And I, I think you guys are getting the Avengers Campus as well. Very excited to see how that turns out in Paris. So we kind of collect everything that comes under the Disney Corporation umbrella. So that'll be so we, we collect Marvel, Star Wars, Disney itself, and sort of the Muppets and things like that. But I do also have a lot of DC comics, and occasionally I have other like horror. Uh, action figures and things like that based on like the universal monsters and things um, but one of my major things that I love to pick up is the park exclusive merchandise that is always my favorite so we've been collecting seriously since about 2016 so we're talking you know, going on five six years now of doing this whole YouTube thing so uh, I've been really enjoying it and as time's gone on we've been able to work with companies like Disney and Hasbro uh, we did a lot of stuff for Star Wars so that's very cool so here is a little look at how it looks in my room so far with the collection. As you can see it's a very broad array of different items there and if we move down you can see there's a lot of park exclusives up there, the Disney toy box, some Jurassic Park, there's a mixture of everything, I've got the Ewok Village there and if I move down you'll see these are, these are all the sort of Disney toy box things and I have got Iron Man's Hall of Armor but they've all fallen down and Boglin's down there. If I move real down, you can even see some of droids. I don't really know how much the collection is worth, but it's probably worth quite a bit at this point. Um, I know that I have over 6,000 individual figures now, because we did a count, I've got about four or five big bo big boxes just full. Uh, so on my last count, yeah, we, we're talking a lot of figures. <laughs> Every month I kind of, um, I, I, I pre-order all my stuff, so I, I, it's very rare that I'll buy things these days. Uh, you know just randomly sometimes I will pick up a few things in store but it'll kind of always be in my plan because um, I kind of look at release dates and I do pre-order where I can so that I can spread out the cost that's my that's the easy, easiest way of collecting in my opinion is by using the pre-order system that a lot of our online retailers have so the quality of the figures really does depend on what line you're talking about so your Hasbro products tend to be the most uh, durable I would say um, you know, with, with your Star Wars Black Series and your Marvel Legends, they tend to be the more durable action figures and um, they are great for collecting because they produce so many lines a year that you do get a lot of product coming out. My favourite part of the collection is this, it's the uh, sand crawler from Star Wars, if I just move the little drop vehicle out of the way. And basically inside here we've got the Jawas on top. And this is actually from Orlando, Florida. And if I open the side here, you can actually keep all your droids and figures inside of it. So it's a great way of display of uh, keeping your figures uh, nicely stored away, just like when you were a kid. The other item that is my favourite is the Sith Holocron. Again, this is from Orlando, it's from Galaxy's Edge. And if we twist it, if I can do this one-handed.
Not sure if I can do this one handed. Ugh. No, I can't. I can't activate it. But yeah, so basically it does talk and things. It's a very cool piece. The first thing that we picked up was the BB-8. The um, it, it was the Disney Star version and it reacted to noise and sound. If you sort of shouted BB-8, it would come towards you. Uh, that, that was the first thing we ever picked up and ever reviewed on this channel. And the review is still live now. If you want to go back and check it out, it was a great video. I think I'll keep collecting until it gets boring, basically. I, I've been a fan of action figures my entire life, so I don't see it ever getting boring to me. It's a great hobby and I really enjoy collecting and the community that is around is great as well. And it's only getting more popular as comic cons and things become more mainstream. And finally, where do I buy all these things? I actually pre-order all my items. So most things come from pre-orders and I use websites like kapowtoys.co.uk, indemandtoys.co.uk and comicsandcocktails.co.uk. Those three, I would say, are the top three websites here in the UK and Europe that you can pre-order from. And uh, they're, they're just very great. They offer great service and the pre-order system is brilliant. So the last thing I have to talk, talk, talk to you guys about is that I will be going out to Orlando yet again, hopefully all being well in March, and we'll be seeing Galaxy's Edge for the first time, and we'll be going on, um, we'll be doing the uh, new Pixar Land, and also I'm looking forward to heading out to Universal and seeing uh, the new the new section for Harry Potter for the first time as well over at Universal Studios. So very excited to get back out to Orlando and hopefully maybe bump into the likes of Tim Tracker and all the other guys or you know see if we can find anyone else out there to do some content with. But once again I'd love to come out to Paris as well later on uh, hopefully um, early next year and maybe meet up with you guys as well because we keep we keep talking about doing something in person one day so hopefully we can make it happen guys. <laughs> As I said, dear LRP fans, thank you very much for having me on the channel. I really appreciate the support and thank you guys and keep creating awesome content for us about Disneyland Paris. We really enjoy your content. Guys, if you want to follow me, you can do at Super Sorrel on any social media. I'm on it. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all at Super Sorrel. And you can find my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for having me on once again, dear LRP fans.